Welcome back. All right, so let's finish this up and actually test out the foliage scattering inside of Unity itself, okay? All right, so a couple of things I want to do before we save out our top network HDA. Uh, you'll notice that the height field scatter nodes automatically assigned a random rotation and a random size to all of our foliage points. So what I want to do is actually um, kind of clean that stuff up or just make some modifications to it. The other thing I need to do, so let's actually open up the uh, type properties window for this guy. The other thing I need to do is I need to promote the path to our CSV file. All right, that way we can actually assign it inside of Unity. Without it, we wouldn't be, wouldn't be able to scatter anything. Okay, cool. So uh, what I want to do is I want to go over to the trees. Let's just start with the trees. Um, let me get this out of the way, actually. And I want to go and adjust a couple of these random ranges that we have here. Okay. And so uh, what I want to do is let's take a look at the p-scale value. All right. So we have this p-scale value over here for trees. You can see it goes from 0.5-ish to 1.5, and that's because that's what we currently have set. So I want to keep it from 1 to, let's say, 2, just for this. Okay? And then, uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to make sure that the, the normals for these particular objects, so if I were to take a look at this here, they all have normals on them. So if we get in close enough, you can see that our normals are actually going with the actual terrain and I, I really don't want that I, I do want to basically keep this um, straight up in world space and I believe by turning off these two guys right here that will actually work for us so I think I want to keep the the match direction with slope there we go I believe that's that's the one I want anyways we can fix it later so I want to just make sure that all the trees are pointing straight up uh, the rocks can can be are fine that way and the bushes are fine uh, that way but for the bushes we also do want to go and say you know, value of one to two and for the rocks we can probably go even higher let's keep it at 0 0.5 maybe we go 2.5 you know the rocks so uh i'm going to leave that there like so and i think that's going to work out for us so we're going to say save node type okay and let's go into our top network here and oh let's make sure that we go and actually show our type properties window and so now what i want to do is i want to create a new folder called scattering like so and we want to jump inside of our top network and we want to basically set the tree pattern all right so this is going to be the tree folder And then we're going to do the same for rocks. All right. So this is going to be our rock folder. Or we could call it actually rock prefab. And I'm going to put that on top. Kind of stick with our convention. This is going to be prefabs. And then we're going to do our bushes here. And that's going to be the bushes prefabs. All right, because we want, we want to be able to assign those to whatever we want inside of unity we don't want to hard code those things all right so then for the scattering let's go and update our hda parameters here and it doesn't look like it's actually getting our hda parameters uh, let's go and do this one more time here there we go just need a little bit of a refresh there all right, so we want to uh, promote our CSV file. So I'm going to move this up to the top and uh, probably going to put a separator between that just to keep it separate from the other file paths there. Hit apply, and then we're going to do bushes coverage, tree coverage, do all these guys. We'll put a separator uh, in between those two and the, the paths. Hit apply and accept. Very cool. All right, so with that, let's go and save our node and then jump over into Unity and get it tested out. Okay, so here we are inside of Unity, and I've gone ahead and opened up uh, the folders. So I have my HDA inside of Unity here, and then I have my top network HDA over here inside of the Houdini project. Okay, so 
what do we want to do is just copy the new one. All right, and paste it over the uh, old one there inside of Unity. And we're going to come inside of the editor here and hit Rebuild Asset. All right. And what we're going to have to do, well, actually, we don't have to do anything. Great, because it came through because those were the defaults. So that's going to work out perfectly for us. All right, so uh, you can go in here and point it to a different CSV file. You can go in here and tell it to point to a different folder for different prefabs, uh, so on and so forth, and we can change the coverage and all that stuff. So if we go to the PDG asset link now, we should have our terrain scatter down here. And what we can do is uh, go and cook that node and see what happens. All right, so I ended up getting a couple of cook errors there. And so what I wanted to do was just walk through uh, what actually happened. Um, so one thing we needed to do um, is in each of the scatters, we need to turn off keep incoming terrain because we don't want to include the terrain. So basically it was throwing an error because it couldn't find the points. So the first input was basically the, the terrain. So we had to turn this all off. I also needed to come into the trees and off the randomize up. And we actually want to randomize uh, the yaw. All right. And we can randomize. We don't want to randomize the up either on the rocks. Uh, but we do want to randomize the yaw. Same for all these guys here. Okay. So with that, we should be good to go. So what it is, I just saved all this stuff. And then jumped back into Unity. So you can see that I have the final cook here. All right, so what I want to do is just cook this again for you guys. Uh, so I'm just going to dirty the the tree node, and I want to make sure that I load in the final terrain as well. So I'm going to auto load that and make sure that my terrain scatter is set to auto load as well. And so then we're going to cook the node. And we'll be right back when this finishes. All right, so there we go. We have our terrain now. We have all of our foliage scattered all over our terrain. So we are doing really good. So I think I'm going to actually up the density of the trees a little bit more. As, uh, it feels a little sparse to me. It'd be cool if it was a little bit more dense in there. But this proves that we are, in fact, scattering all of our prefabs. So cool thing. All right, so um, what we're going to do in the next lecture is just do a quick review of all the topics that we've actually covered throughout this section.